This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Winkler method. The Winkler method uses redox reactions to find the concentration of oxygen in water. It can be used to measure the biochemical oxygen demand of a water sample. Here we have the three steps in the reaction. In the first step, the dissolved oxygen in the water is fixed by the addition of a manganese salt. The reaction of the dissolved oxygen with the salt causes a change in the oxidation state of the manganese from plus 2 to plus 4. In the second step, acidified iodide ions are added to the solution. By looking at the oxidation states, we can see that the manganese has been reduced and the iodide ions have been oxidized. In the third and final step, the iodine produced in step 2 is titrated with sodium thiosulfate. By looking at the coefficients, we can see that the thiosulfate ions and the iodine react in a 2 to 1 ratio. In step 2, the MnO2 and the I2 react in a 1 to 1 ratio. And in step 1, the O2 and the MnO2 react in a 1 to 2 ratio. So from this, we can see the ratio of oxygen O2 to thiosulfate ions is 1 to 4. That means that one mole of oxygen reacts with four moles of thiosulfate ions. Next we look at an example. A 500 centimeter cubed sample of water was reacted with manganese sulfate in a basic solution, followed by the addition of acidified potassium iodide. 12.50 centimeters cubed of 0.0500 mole per decimeter sodium thiosulfate was required to react with the iodine produced. Calculate the dissolved oxygen content of the water. So the first thing we need to do is to calculate the amount in moles of thiosulfate ions. So using the equation N equals CV, we multiply the concentration by the volume in decimeters cubed, which gives us 6.25 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of thiosulfate ions. Previously, we saw that the ratio of oxygen to thiosulfate ions was 1 to 4. So to find the number of moles of oxygen, we divide our number of moles of thiosulfate ions by 4, which gives us 1.56 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of oxygen. Next, we will calculate the concentration of dissolved oxygen in moles per decimeter. Using the equation C equals N over V, where N is the amount in moles of oxygen and V is the volume of water in decimeters cubed. This gives us a concentration of 3.12 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per decimeter. Next, we'll calculate the concentration of dissolved oxygen in grams per decimeter. To do this, we need to convert from moles to grams. So we multiply the amount in moles of oxygen by the molar mass of oxygen. Next, we multiply this mass by 2 because our original water sample was only 500 centimeters cubed. And finally, we'll calculate the concentration of dissolved oxygen in parts per million. 1 ppm is equal to 1 milligram per decimeter cubed. Therefore, 9.98 times 10 to the negative 3 grams per decimeter is equal to 9.98 parts per million.